So I use Windows Phone a lot of years already. I use Android and I use Windows Phone. And uh, I've been always switching between YouTube apps on Windows Phone since there is no official app from Google and there will never be an official app from Google because Google doesn't want to bring one. So how I've been switching between a lot of apps on a Windows Phone, I now have come to the best app that I kind of like and I use daily. Uh, I've been using daily TubeCast for like one year maybe. I've been using only TubeCast, but I have a big problem with TubeCast, which is their UI, their app is the old UI from Windows Phone 8. And in Windows 10, I always have the problem when I open the app and for example, I do some search for a video or even if I scroll between the videos that the app, the app shows me already. And if I want to click on a video, then the app will select another video from the bottom. I don't know why, then I have to go back. I have to scroll back to the video I wanted and then the second time it works to press on that video. I don't know why, but that bug annoys me so, so, so much. Now I have changed to MyTube Beta, which MyTube normal, it's, they still have the old UI from Windows Phone 8 or 8.1, but MyTube Beta, they made universal application. So this MyTube Beta works on phone and works as well on PC. So whenever I want, I can switch from PC, I can switch to the phone and use the same application. And now MyTube Beta, it's almost at full percent to use it as daily but it also has one bug which is if i press on a video for example and if i turn around to watch the video in full screen there is a button to resize that video but if i don't press on that button to resize the video and i just turn the phone around to watch the video it turns around well but when i turn the phone back it turns the video as well but when i press the back button then it doesn't want to go back so i have to close the app and reopen again this is the only bug I found with this application, but it doesn't annoy me so much because whenever I want now to go to a full screen video, I just press on that button to go full screen and with that button, I never have the problem. But of course, yeah, when I turn the phone around, then I know that I messed up. I hope that the developers will fix this bug, which is a bit annoying, but it's not so annoying as from TubeCast. Also this application, uh, the UI, it's like from universal applications. It makes sense with Windows 10 uh, in general. The UI it has also some blurriness here and there. Uh, when, you, when you search, for example, uh, which uh, some people like the blurriness, some people don't like the blurriness. Uh, it's all right, but overall the application, when you scroll between the videos, it's so freaking smooth and you can choose between the team white and dark. I don't know, I like the dark team. Uh, I don't know why, but I like the dark team in this application. It works so, so, so well and it's so, so smooth. And when you open a video, it starts instantly to play that video. And you can also pause it, of course. And another big feature that I like from this application is if you want to like skip on the video, you don't need to press to skip the video. You, you have to slide and you're gonna skip the video, which I like so much this feature on this application. And of course, you can choose the quality as well here. Um, it doesn't have a lot of settings to change between the application, but most of the default settings, they do the job. And overall, I like the application. When you go to the comments as well, the comments section is also organized pretty well. And overall, like I said, I like the UI and I like how it looks. So until TubeCast doesn't bring anything new, I'm gonna be sticking with MyTube. And another big plus from MyTube, beta at least, compared to any application from YouTube for Windows Phone, is my to beta can play live stream. I tested a lot of uh, applications for YouTube on Windows Phone and none of those applications can play live streams, which this application can play live streams. And sometimes I kind of do watch live streams. For example, when there is live tournaments of uh, CSGO, I kind of like to watch the live streams or even some uh, code YouTubers. Uh, I like to watch live streams or I did also some live streams and pe some people were asking me, how can I watch your live stream? on a Windows phone. Yeah, the only answer is my 2 beta And for the moment, my 2 beta uh, how it's a beta application, it's free to download on the store, but my 2 normal application, you have to pay like 199 uh, euros or dollars. I got it in a free promotion like many months ago. You can download my 2 beta for yourself, try it for yourself and let me know in the comments if it works for you, uh, if you like it, and as well, if the live streams work for you. But anyway, thank you guys for watching. This is my choice for YouTube. Let me know what's your choice.